guide wires and come in here. Hey, what about the second uh, thing on that? Uh, I, I talked a second from where the phone is changing. In this one? Yeah. Now it's completely it's loose. Moving? Oh, yeah, it's completely loose. Okay. Okay, oh. Well, what are you to three the age? It's two hundred and top. Fugel saying uh, the free-floating astronaut at the top uh, of the view, Bob Kerbeam on the station's robotic arm in a foot restraint. The views from his helmet cam showing the obvious slack in the guide wire off to the uh, off to the right, and the uh, station flight control team is evaluating uh, the next step. And Stevie Ray and uh, Discovery, what it seems like almost this is like the retraction of a. Bad safety tether. I feel like if I could just pull it out a little ways and let it retract again, it would go right in. Yeah, you know, being we're using all the same terminology uh, here at the console and on the loops to talk about exactly the same thing, I think we're uh, we're all in sync here. Stations flying uh, high above uh, Cuba, tracking northeasterly uh, sun sunset in uh, a little more than nine minutes. All right, the two boats, and I'm getting the new little no fire. So we're looking for you to watch where it goes into the take-up reel uh, on your side of the blanket box, not on Beamer's side. Okay, through that in the hole, right? Yes, as much as you can see on, on your side of the blanket box. You know, it definitely isn't hanging up on the hole in the top of the base of the blanket box. That's clear as well. Okay, I am ready. Okay. Okay, uh, Discovery's go, Beamer. Gotcha. Houston? Yes, we go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull it out about uh, five centimeters, uh, five inches. Okay, here we go. Pull it out. It's moving here. About five inches, and now I'm going to let go. And it is tensioned all the way out. Oh, yes. good work. Uh, about 15 centimeters. 
Questions coming out. Thank you. 